my goodness, how exciting. I'm here on the green carpet, the nationwide premiere of Hunt for the Wilder People. My name is Jackie Brown. It's my pleasure to be here to bring to you all the interviews with all the stars and the celebs. Look, they're walking behind me. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. To so stay there, I've got the man of the moment. I'd like to welcome him over. Look who it is. Me. It's Taika Waititi. Oh, my God. Hi. How are you? Good. So you're here back from Australia. You're just, you know, you're going to go and do Thor. You're, like, so famous now. Uh, I'm not Australian. I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here for my... I'm still patriotic. Still... Uh, I will never forget you. You'll never forget Genevieve. me. Genevieve. Genevieve. Yeah. yeah, Genevieve. Thank you. Yeah. Serious question. Were you born a genius or is it just hard work? Is all of this just hard work? It's hard work. It's a, but between two geniuses, we know that... It's natural, but it's hard. It's a lot of hard work and practice. And practice. And also, actually, surrounding yourself yeah, with other geniuses like Sam Neill and great actors and Julian and yeah. Well, You're getting a bit distracted by all the people. It's so exciting, isn't it? No, I don't know what they're here for, but um, I'm. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm neither. Revert to questions, right? The film strikes a real balance between emotional and funny, and I really love that. And I think you're doing a great thing for New Zealand comedy. Why is comedy so important to you? Um, because the world is really depressing right now, and um, I think that a lot of films highlight how depressing it is, and I'm trying to fight against that. I'm trying to highlight that there's also some fun and some laughter to be had. Yes, and I love that about what you're doing. I think it's so important. We've got to laugh. We've got to laugh. Oh, everyone's dying? <laughs> we love that. No, um, no. We have to find the brightness. Find the brightness. The light. Yeah, the, the light. We've got to find the light in the darkness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your producer wanted me to ask you, what are your influences? Why'd you do this? Why'd you do this film? What do you mean, my influences? My influences and in, I've got so many influences in different mediums. In film? What, what, inspi what inspired you to do the film? Well, I was inspired uh, to brighten people's day. And I just... I mean, as I say, it's like we... we um, times are hard right now. We need to... We need things that are to be uplifting and to make us feel good about, being, especially being New Zealanders and about, you know. You said this was the greatest shoot that you've ever been on. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Um, this was a very difficult shoot. It was five weeks in the snow and the ice and the storms and the mud and the trenches. And um, it was basically like um, making The Revenant, but we shot for more than two hours a day. And, um, and we didn't have Leonardo DiCaprio. Which is a shame, but we still made an amazing movie. We had a couple of other good cast members that sort of yeah, made it made it worthwhile. New Zealand's one. Leonardo, which is Sam Neill. I was going to say guy. Julian was was New Zealand's oh, well, Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. A young Leonardo. We've got two Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Well, we're going to do this all out of order, I think. Hey, oh, I don't mind. I don't, yeah. thanks so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. I'll never forget that night. We no nothing. Don't forget that night. I will never forget that night. I think an, um, Anika Moa wants you. Oh, shit. No, yeah, you're in trouble. Me. You're in trouble. <laughs> Julian, come and chat. No, what camera? What this camera? one. That one. Okay, that one? Okay. I touched him. Last night, last night, I saw you at the, the cast and crew screening. And you, did you see me? No. Yes, I did see you. Oh, you did see me. Because yeah. I saw you and I was like, oh, there's, the, there's Julian. Oh, my God, he's the star. I actually did get like a little shiver. Oh, thank you. Well, because you know what's exciting is that now you are properly about to be world famous. Are you ready for fame? Um, I don't know. I, I might have to adapt to it a bit, but I can't wait until all of New Zealand sees it. It's going to be great. There's a whole lot of laughs in the film, so it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. You worked with Sam Neill, obviously Taika. They're, you know, very experienced. Did they give you any advice or train you in any way? Um, yeah, for about a week uh, before, start, we, before we started shooting, it was a lot of, you know, um, prepping, doing, going over some scenes, going over some of the main scenes with Sam, Taika. So they taught me a lot, especially Rachel House, who plays uh, Paula in the film, was my dialogue coach. So they helped me a lot to get into the character in the film, Ricky Baker. So, yeah, I feel like they did help me quite a lot. I thought you were awesome. You're so beautiful to watch. And your little face, I just want to kiss it, but that's inappropriate. So I'll just get you to move move to the next person. Yeah. Thanks, Julian. No worries. I'm going. OK, you go. Yes. Before I put you in my handbag and take you home. And um, we've got some... They're all just getting caught up talking to their friends and family, but that's all right. <sighs> I just got to quickly flip my questions over. Hi. Hi. Rima, it is an honour to meet you. Oh, you too. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm so glad there's so much more of you on the screen now and with Housebound and this. It's just great to see you. Oh, cool. And you've got really nice skin in real life. Really nice skin in real life. Does it look terrible on camera? No, it does. No, it doesn't look terrible on camera. I'm saying it just looks nice in real life. Oh, okay, thank you. It's a pre-prepared question, but actually, I'm glad it turned out to be true. <laughs> this is going really well. Um, so, um, <laughs> this is such a great Kiwi story, and so it's so intrinsically New Zealand. Do you think it? Well, why do you think it translates internationally? Because I've seen it. You've not seen it. Oh. Shh, bend over. Smack that bottom. Well, you're going to see it tonight, but surely you're aware of all the reviews and everybody's saying this is an amazing... You don't read reviews? Let me tell you. Okay, it went to, su no, it went to Sundance. I have okay. read, I've read a couple. Right, right. So, you know, it's, but they were good. They were they really were good. good. But you can't sort of, you know... I mean, it's just better to, to wait till you've seen it. Right, so... Because I'm thinking, you know, the world is looking at New Zealand and they're like, who are these crazy guys? But obviously we've got something that translates internationally and I think that's our our sense of humour, our love of family, our culture, and that's all coming through on the screen, and your performances as well. Yeah. You're so, you're so shy in real life. I thought you'd be like, la, 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 la. Oh, la, 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 la. Am I, intim am I intimidating you? Uh, no, no, I just feel a bit funny. Why are you laughing at me? It's going well. Hey, um, do you get to keep those cool cat jumpers that you wore in the, wore in the movie? Damn it, I know. Terrible, isn't it? It's the most disappointing moment. I get to keep um, this, uh, but I haven't been given it yet, the sort of jacket thing I wore, the woolly one, the woolly jacket thing. Yeah. Mm. Every cloud, silver lining. I hope you enjoy the film. I'm sure you will. See you soon. You're holding hands with support. It's a, a thing of support. Awesome. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to separate you all. Oh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> just have to flick through my questions. Like, I'm going to the Oddie Oddie. I've been trying to practice your name all day. Are you proud of me? Yeah, I'm proud of you because not many people get it right. Did it right? Yes. Oh, say it again. Ti ori ori. Yep. Kind of. Ti ori ori. Ti ori ori. See, world, New Zealand, learn this beautiful girl's name because, you know, it's going to be very important. Hey, um, so there was a nationwide search to find you and you charmed Taika. How did you do it? Um, well, because the character, she's... She's really natural and she's, she's, um, she was like a horse rider and all that. And so I was brought up in like the countryside and all that. So it was quite easy for me to kind of um, audition for this because Kahu, uh, who I play, yeah, we're similar. So uh, it was really I'm easy. I'm so glad. And do you think now you're going to be asking Taika if you can sneak into his um, suitcase and go to Hollywood with him <laughs> and become an actor for, for real? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but... Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You should. You should. I want to, but... <laughs> and are you the same as Rima? You've not seen it either? No, I have seen it. Yeah, I watched it um, last night at the cast and crew. No, not Rachel. I'm saying, don't get away. I'm sorry to interrupt. Anika Mawa is so naughty on the on the green carpet. Have you met Anika Mawa before? Okay. If you go down there and meet her, just be just be prepared. She's <laughs> she's dangerous. Anyway, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Hi, Rachel, how are you? Good. It's so you? nice to meet you. You too. I loved your performance. Thank you very much. I really, really loved it, and that's genuine. And I thought you had such a great um, sort of hard ass, stern. So hard ass, eh? Yeah, I love it. I know. How cool is that to play hard ass, yeah? Are you, did you find it hard to channel that character, or was it. <laughs> <laughs> what research did you do? <laughs> Just, you know, life. Yeah. Now, I was talking to somebody earlier and they were saying that you, you take it um, upon yourself not to read any reviews, is that right? Yeah, yeah no, I try not to, yeah. Why is that? Most people, well, just because it gets in the way of what you think of it yourself, you know. And I totally I, agree. I saw it last night. I mean, I was, I've seen a couple of cuts and really enjoyed it and saw it again last night and loved it, yeah. Is it better the second time round? Yes, and I think I'll enjoy it even more tonight. I mean, it was a bit nerve-wracking last night. All the cast and crew, and we were, I think everyone was a bit nervous to see how everybody's work was, you know, and um, so tonight I think I'll, I'll just really enjoy it. I mean, I, I, I love everybody in it, so, yeah, and the team are great. It was just so wonderful watching you, and, you know, I hope to see more and more and more of you. Thank you so yeah, much. my pleasure. And good luck with the next interviews. They won't be as messy as this, but, you know, <laughs> no, this is good luck. Messy. Okay, thanks. thanks <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got Oscar Kiteley just waiting. He's just chatting to some people. That's what he likes. So he's so social. Oh, here he is. Hi. Oscar. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. 
see you. Nice to see you. Now, we were, of course... You look lovely. Oh, thank you. So do you. Um, we were sitting next to each other last night at the cast and crew screening. Yes, um, with, with beers. Just, with beers and snacks and um, just dropping it in there that I was there and I got invited. I'm not in the film, but I'm just that cool. No. Did you like it? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I was just saying to Rachel, you know, did she, did she have any inspiration for her character? And did you? Because you play quite a... What, what's the word you use? It's, it's not like casual. a... Casual. Casual. You're a casual, a casual cop. cop. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Because the last time I played a cop, I was this big, grim detective. Yes, that's right. Uh, Jerry's Harris. Harris. And Taika just wanted me to do the opposite of everything I did then. And he was like, smaller, smaller. So I was, it was probably the most restrained I've ever been, I think. Right. Yeah. Your, your character has snacks constantly and, and sitting, well, not constantly, but you like the uh, other. Sitting next to you scrogging, last night. Scrogging. You were snacking away, so I thought you could have drawn on oh, true life for the character. I know, that was yummy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, why do you think why do you think that these film why do you think Tiger's film is um, is translating so well internationally? Why do you think people are listening to what we've got to say? I think because he's because normally he's quite cool with his stuff yeah. and kind of you know like really funny cool, yeah. and with this one he's he's showing a bit more heart, and it's just that kind of bare nakedness that's disarming audiences. I think, and overseas people can't help but feel good. Especially at festivals where most films seem to be quite depressing. Yeah. And then this one comes along and you actually walk out with a massive smile on your face. So really? I think over, there's so much horrible stuff in the world. I think people appreciate movies that make them laugh and smile. I totally agree. That's what Taika was saying. You know, it's time to laugh and feel good about ourselves as Kiwis. And go and get some snacks and sit upstairs. Uh, Save me a seat. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. Hi, Toilet. Mm -hmm. oh, you look beautiful as always. Hello, so lovely to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm trying to find my question so I don't mess it up with the mighty Sam Neill. Okay. And I do a little bow. Should I, should I do the questions for Yeah, you? Sam's going to do the questions. Sam Neill, you're the sexiest... Oh, did yeah, you write that, Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's a bit inappropriate, I'm sorry. It's really inappropriate. Sorry, I'll change, I'll do my other question line. Uh, I'll go, okay. So your, um, your character, Heck, he's such, a, yeah. such an archetypal Kiwi bloke. Did you find I it? Not, I hope he's not a caricature. No, not at all. You don't make it that at all. I just think I it's... He's rounded. He's beautifully rounded. But did it's you... a bit of a pocket. No. Did you find it... I'm trying to be so serious here. Did you find it easy to get into that groove of that kind of a man? Look, Is he far honest, from you? To be honest, it's a, it was a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, yeah, he's pretty ungroomed. <laughs> and I, they usually groom me up a bit. Um, but I got to be very fond of him. Uh, even though he's a grumpy old bugger, you know. It'd be nice playing that kind of a role. Yeah, and I, I know quite a few grumpy old buggers, and, I, and I'm turning into one myself. So, uh, what I thought was going to be a real stretch turned out to be pretty comfortable. Now, Julian, playing alongside someone that's just starting out on their career, did you feel any sort of paternal urges or want to educate him or show him the way? Not remotely. Julian knows his own way already. <laughs> Look, uh, you, you know, people have said, did you need to give him any, any help? No, he didn't, needed no help at all. He's just, you know, he's an un unnaturally gifted performer. He was brilliant. Unnaturally? Unnaturally gifted. Oh, just makes me feel sad about my own life, you know, when you come across these no, youngsters. It's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> really depressing. He's just got it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him handling the press with just a Just chatting like away. And Ekamoa keeps popping into our shop. Get out of it. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed, enjoyed the film. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go and enjoy yourself down there with the rest of the horrible press. Yeah. It started good here and it goes terrible down there. Hi, hi. Now, let me just get my questions correctly. Sorry, I wouldn't want to muck it up. Hi, Stan and Cohen and Mike. Lovely to meet you. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. You all smell very nice, I must say. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. We share a mutual friend, but that's not for here. I feel like I've seen you on TV. I feel like I've seen you on TV. I know, it's so weird. Do you guys want to... Yeah, we'll just go... Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thank you. No, I like... Can I say, guys... Sorry, hi. Loved watching the three of you in the movie as a sort of messy, horrible, comedic trio. But the Steen Sealer, if I may say, the scene Stealer, the Steen Sealer, was your moustache. That nasty-ass thing. How long did it take to grow? Well, that was a fake one. Oh, really? And I couldn't really move anything. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't eat. 
because it would have fallen off. But I feel like that was the basically the show, the movie was all about the moustache. I agree, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I really felt that. Did you feel that as well? I mean, it was impossible to act against. Sorry to steal that microphone off you there, cousin. But it was uh, it was impossible to act against because all you could see was just yes. Stan's top lip. Yeah. And you know. directly above the top lip was the eyes. So I... so distracting. So, so very distracting. To, to have roles like this in a movie like this, you must have been Boy Scouts or something along those lines. Were, you, were any of you Boy Scouts? Well, I'm actually from the bush originally. Um, I'm from a village. <laughs> originally so it felt quite natural to me it's been a long time so i was like oh it's a bit, oh, it's a bit oh the bush oh dirt <laughs> I don't know all right i got a question for you guys it's a it's a wilderness question do you know the four the four the three sides to the fire triangle to the what triangle fire triangle fire triangle, fire triangle. you need each of these three elements to make fire fuel fuel is one uh um, farts farts no walkers out Oxygen. Jeez, you're there's good, a third one. There's like, a third are you big rules? Are you big rules? Oxygen and spark. And it's uh, yes. ignition. It's uh, sp- I don't know. Stan um, knows it. Stan knows it. I feel like Stan. Hot knows heat. It. Oh wow, amazing. Oh, heat. 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 So I'm educating you as well as yeah. interviewing Stan's you. Educated. Yeah. Guys, so lovely to meet you. Thank you for chatting. Thank you. Go and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Save me a seat. Save me some popcorn if you can be bothered. Yeah. I'll try it. No, you won't. Yeah. (laughs) Is it 3D? What's 3D? The movie, yeah. 3D. 3D. Yeah, yeah. And it's sensory as well. So lots of, you know, yeah. Dog dog food. You see a lot of me then. (laughs) Oh, goody, goody, goody. (laughs) See you guys. Bye. Hi, Troy. How are you? Lovely to see you. Come over here into the light. Don't be afraid of the light. You're about to be a celebrity, a massive celebrity. Cool. Oh. <laughs> all shy. You've gone all shy. I loved you in the movie. I thought you were so funny. Oh, thank you. And you know you're um, you're quite keen on the old selfies for the for your your character is quite keen on selfies. So you realise that now everybody's going to be taking selfies with you. Yeah, it's quite funny because I. Um I'm actually one who always mocks people who always take selfies. If you look at their Instagram pages, and the only thing they've got is selfies, so... Would you do bit, that? Yeah. It's a bit of a hypocritical move on my part, but, um, yeah, it was quite funny. It's the character. Yeah, just a character. Why do you think this kind of film is making people, you know, feel so much? I don't know. Um, it was just a great... It's Taika. It's know? Taika. It's Taika. Um, Everything he, he puts on the screen is magic. And um, with this one, it's got a real, it's got a real Kiwi feel to it, which um, I think has kind of been lacking. Um, it really harks back to those goodbye pork pie sort of, sort of movies. So um, I don't know. I think people are just wanting to get in touch with their roots or something like that. I don't know. I totally agree. And also, everyone wants to have a laugh. We want to laugh at ourselves. We want to enjoy it and embrace some you know, beautiful Kiwi filmmaking. So good. And what does it mean to you to be part of a film like this? These are quite hard questions, aren't they? I should have prepped you. I should have prepped you. That's right. Um, Well, Taika's like one of my idols. So just just, even though I don't have the biggest part on the movie, just just to be part of the whole thing is is a privilege, really. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be one of those movies that people watch in another 20 years' time. And so I'm just glad that my ugly mug's going to be in there amongst all these other beautiful people. And you know what? You don't need a big, a big role to make an impact. So that's that's what I think. I thought you were great. Cool, thank, you. thank you. Have a great night. You okay. Yes. Bye. I'm interviewing the dogs. Oh my God! I'm not worthy. Come through, guys. So um, do they? I mean, I'm assuming they talk. Speak. Hello. Speak. Okay. <laughs> which is which? Which Speak. is which? This is Tess. Oh. Good. Tuss, Tupac. Tupac, yep, and, and this is Finn. Who Finn plays Zach. Zach, right, right. Zach. And were you guys on the you were on the shoots, obviously looking after them and making sure they were well behaved. Yes. And are they uh, have they has the fame gone to their heads now? Uh, no, no. <laughs> demanding more biscuits, things like that. Uh, perhaps it has a little. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that they have been acting with Sam Neill, and oh, now. Yeah. They think they're yeah. pretty, they think pretty, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Well, just keep them in their place. Remind them yeah. that you are the boss and they are the dog. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Bye, guys. Behave yourselves. Don't let the fame go to your paws. Hi. 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 
are you, Jackie? Lovely to meet you, Martin. Yeah, How are you? Too. Great, thank you. Great. Wow, well, so this is Martin Crump. This is Barry Crump's son. Now, the, the film is actually based on this book, Wild Pork and Watercress. How cool, and it's been re-released to have this cool cover. And we've just uh, had to re had to reprint it because this one sold out. So we're very thrill we're thrilled about that. So, wow. and the book was a was a was a, a, a ripper to start with. It was a great yarn. So to, so to have it sold out again, so people are latching onto it. A new generation, perhaps. That's so wonderful. God, how does that make you feel to to look around here today to see all these people here? And it's all because of something that your dad wrote. Yeah, and that's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite amazing. My whole family behind me here. There's quite a mob of the crumps, of course, but uh, but uh, f fantastic to have it come this far. And let's hope it's the first of a few because he wrote 24 books. Yeah. There might be one or two other movies in there. Who knows? But, Absolutely. But uh, this is great stuff. Great for New Zealand that we're telling a Kiwi yarn. And it's about us. It's about us. It's a Kiwi yarn. You're so right. And there's just so much humour and heart in the film and in the stories. And it's, it's time that we saw more of that on the screen, isn't it? No more depression and I'm so sad. Well, Taika said that to me a couple of years ago. He said, I'm not going to make a, a heavy drama. We are going to laugh. You might cry as well, but we're definitely going to laugh. And I love that aspect of it. I mean, I spent a bit of time with uh, Barry and Kunch, the little Maori boy he was knocking around with, that the whole book's based on. And they had such an adventure together. And I thought if Taika could ever capture that on the screen that Barry managed to capture on a page, uh, we'll be on a winner. And the little bit that I've seen so far, because I have seen about nine minutes of it, it's a winner. It's great that I've seen. Well, you heard it here first. It's a winner. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. I really hope you enjoy it. You will. I've seen oh, it. It's, it's really great. Thanks, Jackie. Okay. Bye. Right. Well, that I think that wraps us up. This concludes our our little green carpet extravaganza. I hope you've enjoyed meeting all the, the stars of the of the film. You're sitting there with your popcorn and your ice cream, hopefully. And um, I hope that you enjoy it. Now, listen, if you want to see more, let me just get to my notes here, which I'm very professional with. Um, if you want to see more past New Zealand films and really celebrate us, which I think we should be doing, go to on demand at newzealandfilm.co.nz. Thank you for joining us. Have a great evening.